question number 89 of the ID passport exam from Finnitz. We are now in the strategy portion of the exam. In this question, we are being asked, which of the following goal can be expected to be achieved by the introduction of just in time? Let's highlight the keywords just in time. And we need to find the goal that is expected that can be expected to be achieved. Okay, the way to answer this question is to, of course, read each and every choice that we've got. Letter A is saying that we improve the productivity of the sales in department. Um, if we can introduce just in time, we can achieve improvements in the productivity of the sales department. Let's highlight sales department. Letter B, building a long-term relationship with customers. In this case, we have the word customers, just like letter A, which um, pertains to sales also, the sales department, customers, sales department. What about letter C, understanding the sales status for each individual product unit. We again have we again have the word sales, and um, we don't have customer, but it looks like we're uh, focused on sales for this uh, choice too. What about for letter D, reducing semi-manufactured goods and the number of components in inventory? I think this part about inventory. And that uh, this part about semi-manufactured goods. I think letter D is the best answer because of the keywords. And remember that we need to um, find the goal that can be achieved by introducing just in time. And we know that just in time is a technique such that if you got components in your inventory, we can reduce the number of components just sitting in the inventory and in this case it adds that if we got semi-manufactured goods which means that we have the goods except that they're they're not yet completed I mean we have some of the the um, the parts of the goods here with us right now but we need to finish them still which means that um, if we don't finish the goods the products they just sit in the the waiting uh, waiting list also and if we can um, improve our system so that all the products that we're building we can build them uh, well we can complete them without having to um, without having to uh, wait wait for uh, let me see um, wait for for example another part of the factory to finish or um, um, and uh, have too many of the components just sitting in the inventory so letter D is the best answer in this case again if you look at the other choices they seem to be pertaining to sales and customers and I think um, that's the main commonality between the, the remaining choices. And um, I think really the best answer would be letter D based on what I've uh, also explained a while ago. Okay.